in a team fight, split it between a few heroes, and you get a couple low, you get a couple kills potentially, so that uh, makes a big difference. Ahayo's getting close to his blade mail, so it's a good time for Fnatic to kind of not look for a 5v5 full-on engagement. You've got an invoke with Midas. That's 2,000 net worth. Smoking. Not invested in items. Mid. They're ready to pounce. Mushi doesn't quite have the level 2 ultimate, but they do manage to get the catch courtesy of Disruptor. Sunstrike coming through. And Ramses will go splat and now looking for more, but Ohio gets Astral and Iceberg will retreat, uh, completing the Rod of Atos. But the counter backstab, always want to fly moving in from the rear, walks right into the middle of Fnatic. They try to lock down mid one, control him for now. He's not dead just yet. And again, the snowballs are turning these fights. They get off a deafening blast on his way out, doing quite a bit of damage. Ohio, though, low and will end up falling. A three for two exchange. The Juggernaut barely surviving. Mushi just sprinting away to freedom looks like he'll make it out too glimpse is ready and they just managed to grab always want to fly but it's right as he sends on the two hero kick chrissy's going deep for this one rolls in gets the uppercut and sends him packing but heroes are respawning we're not done just yet hang on to your hat starcopter's back call downs there and it just misses dj might even make it out of this one at this rate drops the shards covers his retreat up to the high ground he's got no mana for tp four seconds and counting can he juke this they've got the vision they pop the rocket barrage he snowballs and then and then he goes down to the well it was a good effort <laughs> valiant effort it was indeed. a good effort mentioned that the invoker went for so he can't get caught and jump by the od it would be like a at this stage a much more useful item than an smy and it's making life very difficult the other option is getting something like evasion the butterfly so you've got some way to just deal with the od right he's quick. up against the refresher orb on ohio he's gonna have a second hex if they can just pop this aegis once they might be able to kill him twice is he gonna use that refresher static storm to start it off he does go for the refresh but already it looks like the OD's got an out, man, just to pop the blink and will retreat himself to safety. Meanwhile, mid one's running to the entire enemy team. He's caught out. The Vax there. The combo's coming. The snowball's there to turn it a bit, but the call down's still going. Flak coming from Ramsey soon. Four seconds to go. I don't even know if they need it. That's dead. Profit's in danger. DJ's being forced back. There is no rat, and there is no escape. Team Spirit marching down top. An iceberg feeling like he's king of the world. He already ate a moon shard. And he is completely out of control in the OD. Back on top of net worth. Buybacks if they got him. Fnatic are going to need to use them any moment now. Massive damage at this point in the game. Mushi has no way to fight outside of Magic Mushi. Deso. Deso on mid one. Full rat mode. Okay. This might be what it comes to, gods. And just, oh, oh, it, in some ways it's rapid. It's also like, I need an item that's going to allow me to fight and kill heroes now. And I it's... can't count on my profit. <laughs> yeah. For 80. Can't count on this juggernaut more than anything. This jug is done. All right. Mushi's no here to try and try and turn your opinion of it. But he's gotten fiends good. He's oh. caught in the middle of the enemy team. And he drops. That's hammer. Number one. Rearms it. Let's the second fly. Four dead. Eviscerated by the iceberg. Team spirit. Smelling funky fresh here. They will take game one. They end it with an ultra kill and a 24 4 and 13 beatdown. 44 to 32, the final score. Better execution. And ultimately, they force Fnatic the team fight. Over egg coming out from Ohio, but. Very nice deny there. Still a tower down, though. They're, they're rotating bottom, up. so they push out bottom and they'll just transition into that bottom high ground siege now, I believe. Ohio will be level 16 by that stage. And oh, just finds the of... astral in time. Chen does have hand of God, but literally nobody in <laughs> sight. And Ramses is just not going to live through that. And the split push in the, the mid lane, the top lane isn't there, so it's, this is, this is going to be the high ground threat. The MKB just completed. The Phoenix just hitting level 16. Everything you could hope for on the side of Fnatic is there. Apart from maybe the Refresher. It is a Refresher. He just picks up the recipe now, missing one more Perseverance, about a thousand gold away. But ultimately, one egg is, should be enough to actually take the, the first lane of Rax here. Or force a CK buyback, which kind of chips away at his BKB fund. Uh, if they get a good combo, he definitely only needs one. But my god, if he manages to drop two in one fight. We'll see if they can find that opening. Fnatic are very confidently moving forward here. DJ out in front, has the blink dagger, just picked up recently as well, and Mushi now going to start tanking and this tornado damage. Importantly, he's got the Aegis too, because he's going to be the one on the front lines to right-click the racks down. And just keep on healing Mushi, the Sunray Orchid's magic, they're, they're whether it's on offense or too. defense. Afterlife is coming around from the south side, though. He's looking for a lasso opening, has the four staff available. Fnatic 
So showing only here that isn't really a problem if he gets caught, and that's Mushi. They do manage to grab mid one. They want to try and finish off the Sodi, but has the BKB. They got it completely chased down where he's going to turn this fight around. Oh, being held for now, trying to steal some damage. Drops the hammer, eviscerates two, looking for the third. The false promise keeping Ramsey's alive for now. Looks like he will be okay, but the rest of the team, not so much. Good Astral there dodging the fountain shots as they drag him back towards the well. There's another reality rift soon. Maybe he can pull him in again. Doesn't seem like it's the case. And Fnatic striking back in game number two. They've taken a lane of racks, and they've done it in style. 31 minutes in. Now looking for <laughs> Now more. they're diving the fountain, LD. <laughs> All right, Fnatic. A loss here. Oh, they got the refresher. <laughs> it uh, was the highest, like, guys, I need to get to the fountain for my items. Come with me. Come with me. Let's go for a team shopping trip. And GG. I'll, yeah. I, at this stage, there was no real comeback potential. Celebratory super. It, and again, it's DJ and, and mid one who's just had an incredible series and an incredible day. Big commitment on the net. There comes the Zeus salt. Does manage to get the kill courtesy of the magnetized additional damage, but always want to fly will be the trade in mid one. Leaps in deeper. Early Ghost Scepter grab by Iceberg. Not often Not you see up. that. There's an OD already. Not dropping it, just hit. Oh, the damage shredding. Garb like a DD root on mid one. He could quickly deal with Iceberg as well. Blinking forward. They trap him, isolate him, decapitate him too. And they yeah. still aren't giving up anything for these kills. 12 to 11. That's a enough damage to be able to kill heroes like TA, like OD. Oh, Afterlife goes in, he gets a chrono, but it's only on Mushi and Co. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough because mid one, he's got into the back lines. He's evaporating spirit. Turns on always want to fly. It's a triple for him. And it looks to be the end times for spirit now. Void going to buy back. Still has the Aegis. Lucky to jump out before that last side blade came through. And this with this, it's Mega Creeps. Fnatic have done it. They pulled through MVP. I will now be joined by their Southeast Asian brothers, both teams through to the winner's bracket. Perhaps Swindle Melons was on to something, God. Man, now to see if the North Americans can have the same success. I mean, yeah, there's there's always a lot of flak flying around certain regions, but SCA has just proven something here. Both teams coming out.